what is up y'all it is your boy ck here to do another unboxing video this time we have the secux hardware wallet this is coming fresh from taiwan uh, SecuX was kind enough to send this over so we could unbox it and show you guys what comes inside. These guys bring something completely different to the cryptocurrency hardware wallet game. Um, they, as you can see, and as I mentioned, they do have Bluetooth. This device also has a huge touchscreen, uh, so maybe that solves some of the issues with uh, different signing formats that people require and uh, they may not get. Uh, the right type of uh, UI out of a smaller device with a tiny screen. SecuX has a huge screen. I'm excited to get into this thing and show you what is inside. All right. You gotta be careful not to, uh, not to damage the box when you're getting in. So here's the box. Again, kind of like some of the other newer entrants into the space, it feels good. It is a good feeling box. They did not cheap out on this cardboard. Um, again, it has a little bit of a temper resistant seal. Um, this one actually feels like it's like rubber. Um, so, I mean, I guess that is more difficult to, to duplicate really one of the most important things when it comes to these hardware wallets is that it has um, some sort of specialized packaging in order to uh, make sure that people don't mess with it. Oh, something I just noticed is this box is magnetic. That is interesting. But yeah, so you want your you want the hardware wallet to come in a tamper resistant box. Um, so different manufacturers take different lengths onto how tamper resistant they make the device, but. Um, it's really important that there is some length taken and obviously the most length taken uh, is probably what you want um, So this is what comes inside you can see here is the wallet uh, totally different than uh, Most wallets that you see out there. It's pretty big as you can see um, it is round shaped As you can see you got the the rubber on the back uh, has a metal kind of uh, bezel and then there's the touch screen. This button, I'm assuming, is how you turn it on. Let's see if we can turn it on. There you go. Um, so they just turned on. Welcome. Get started. It's, it looks like it's completely charged up. Click on that, and boom, now you got to set your pin. Uh, not going to do that right now. And as you can see, the touch screen is very responsive. Um, but let's see what else is inside of this box. Ooh, all right, so they give you a nice little pouch. Pouch for your wallet. They give you a, a USB port. Uh, this is USB-C, so uh, the most recent standard. You can, uh, I'm assuming that this is what is covering here is a USB-C port. Come on. There we go. Man, it's kind of tough to get off. Gonna have to get that off. But again, that is more tamper resistant sealant. Um, so again, if they uh, if they messed with this device, SecuX is trying to make it as hard as possible um, for them to do that without uh, making it super obvious that the device has been tampered with. All right, so so it's pretty simple packaging. Really, it is. A hardware wallet, a pouch for the hardware wallet, USB-C cord, and then some rules and uh, interesting information on how to get started, right? So again, uh, it has an iOS app and an Android app as well as a web app uh, so that you can use to link up with, uh, with the SecUX device. Um, and then it has all of the instructions on how to use it as well as a, a sheet for your recovery words. All of that is pretty standard. Um, 
But yeah, remember to check out SecUX. They're nice enough to send this over. Uh, they're going to be sending me a promo code. So if you guys are interested in this wallet, if you're interested in getting a completely Bluetooth compatible device which, with a touch screen, uh, check out SecUX. Uh, again, they are out of Taiwan and uh, they're doing a lot of stuff in the blockchain and Bitcoin space, uh, payment terminals, as well as obviously uh, this cold storage device. All right, y'all. Remember to give us a rating and a review. If you like the work that we're doing here at Bitcoin Magazine, it goes a long way to help spread Bitcoin knowledge.